and welcome to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition, where we aim to maximize your understanding and minimize your need for memorization. Each episode will recap content, skills, and test-taking tips to help you succeed in May. I'm your host, Melanie Kingett, and your recap starts now. Hi, and welcome to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. Today's episode will recap codons. Let's zoom out. We're in Unit 6, Gene Expression and Regulation, Topic 6.3 and 6.4. Our big idea is information storage and transmission. Codon, what a great term for the secret of life. The genetic DNA code transcribed into mRNA and translated three letters at a time into amino acids. Put a few, more likely hundreds of thousands, of amino acids together at a ribosome, bend, fold, and ta-da, polypeptide. Let's zoom in. This episode is all about codons, what they are, where they come from, how to read them, and what happens if there's a mistake. Translation, it's kind of like riding a bike. Once you learn how, you never forget. Codons, what are they? A codon is a three nucleotide sequence of an mRNA transcript. Each codon will indicate a particular amino acid during the process of translation. How many different triplet combinations can you make with only four letters? The answer? There are 64 different codons. Of these, one is a start codon, AUG, which codes for the amino acid methionine. And three are stop codons, which do not translate into an amino acid, UAA, UAG, and UGA. Since there are only 20 different amino acids, more than one codon correlates to each. Almost all organisms use the same genetic code. This evidence and overlapping codons further supports the common ancestry of all living organisms. Where do they come from? Remember, mRNA is assembled during the process of transcription. This is the first step of the central dogma. The template strand of DNA is read three prime to five prime with RNA polymerase synthesizing the mRNA strand five prime to three prime according to complementary base pairs. This is transcription. So we are still in the language of nucleic acids with uracil substituted for thymine. Next for eukaryotes, an mRNA transcript is processed. Introns spliced out the non-coding sections, Mg cap added to the 5' prime end, and the 3' prime end gets a poly A tail, essentially a few hundred adenines. Transcription and translation happen simultaneously in prokaryotes, so there is no mRNA modification. Hi there, producer Brad here. I wasn't always what you would call the best student. In fact, a fellow student once complimented me by saying how much my illustration skills had progressed over the course of our first semester philosophy class, where I may or may not have gotten a D. However, I did do very well in all of my online courses, so much so that my grandfather said that maybe I should avoid in-person interactions altogether. But the point is, everybody learns differently, and sometimes all you need to understand a difficult topic is a different perspective. The Absolute Recap live virtual classrooms allow you to collaborate collaborate with AP students from all over the world. Each 90-minute lesson is hosted through Zoom by your favorite podcasting teachers and focuses on specific course topics. Our teachers use visual aids, provide opportunities for student practice and Q&A, plus they give you a downloadable study packet. Our virtual classroom is a great opportunity to review for tests throughout the year as well as prepare for the exam in May. Reserve a seat for one class or book your seat for the year with our virtual classroom bundle and save. Now, back to the recap. How to read them. Translation of the mRNA to generate a polypeptide chain occurs on ribosomes in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Remember, ribosomes are found free-floating in the cytoplasm as well as on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. In short, rRNA, or ribosomal RNA, reads mRNA, one codon at a time. These codons correlate to one specific amino acid, which is brought over by tRNA, or transfer RNA. For example, the mRNA codon UCG encodes for the amino acid serine. The tRNA, which delivers serine, contains the anticodon AGC and temporarily binds at its complement within the ribosome. This amino acid, among others, is then transferred 
to the growing polypeptide chain, and the process is continued until a stop codon is reached. The newly synthesized polypeptide is released for further processing and shipping. Do not memorize any DNA sequences or the amino acid codon chart. Understand how to use it and practice the process of transcription and translation. We talking about practice. What if there's a mistake? Dun, dun, dun. DNA mutations can be positive, negative, or neutral. This is determined by the effect the mutation has on the nucleic acid sequence, resulting protein, and phenotype. First, the mutation in question has to be within the coding region of a gene to have effect and within an exon of mRNA. Second, the location of the change within a codon matters. If the mutation changes the amino acid sequence of the polypeptide and alters the structure and function of the protein, then it affects the phenotype of the organism. Point mutations substitute one nucleotide base pair for another. They can be silent, having no effect on the amino acid sequence. Missense, causing an amino acid change, or nonsense, coding for a stop. Nonsense. There's a scientific explanation. If the point mutation is in the third base of a codon, the chances of a silent mutation increase. For example, any codon that begins with CU See you later. will give you leucine. The third letter can be U, C, G, or A, and you still get leucine. This allows for mistakes in transcription and translation to occur while still getting the intended protein product. A frame shift mutation is caused by the insertion or deletion of a base. This causes a shift in the ribosome's reading frame, and every subsequent codon downstream of a mutation may be different. Frame shift mutations can also cause a stop of translation. Time for unit connections. Unit 1, chemistry of life with nucleic acids and protein structure. Unit 3, cell structure and function with ribosomes. Plus, Unit 7, natural selection. The codon chart consistency is further evidence of the continuity of living things. All right, what about the exam? It is unlikely that you will be asked a question that is a direct forward translation. More likely, a disruption to the process or predict the effect of the mutation on protein function. Don't memorize the codon chart. It will be provided for you within a question if you need it. Just remember, it is the mRNA sequence you read for the codons, not DNA or tRNA. To recap, codons are three nucleotide sequences within an mRNA molecule. They're produced during transcription and decoded into amino acids during translation. There are three stop codons and one start codon and 20 amino acids. Mutations have varied effect on phenotype depending upon their position within a codon. Coming up next on the Absolute Recap Biology Edition, transcription versus replication. Today's question of the day is about translation. What is the greatest number of codons that give the same amino acid? For the answer to the question of the day, please follow us on Instagram at The Absolute Recap. That's the A-P-S-O-L-U-T-E Recap. Check out our website, theabsoluterecap.com, for episode schedules, study guides, virtual tutoring, and to sign up for our virtual classroom. The Absolute Recap is produced by Brad Kingett with music by Zach Caruso. Today's episode was written by me, Melanie Kingett. Thanks for subscribing, and don't forget to rate and review wherever you get podcasts. Time's up. Pencils down. Thank you for listening to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. AP is a registered trademark of the College Board. Copyright 2020, Absolute Recap LLC, all rights reserved.